Hello and welcome again to Thread Sketching in Action. I'm Deborah Wursu. I've stayed with the marine theme again this week using yet another section of the background fabric that I used for the sea star and sea urchin a few weeks ago. You may notice that this background piece is a little different as it features more flecks of red and fewer greens and yellows. So I've altered the colour set of the threads for the stitching from the previous works as well. This began with a few chalked ideas on the fabric as a guide, but once again I soon abandoned these as they were not very useful. Simply freestyling it with occasional looks at some reference images was, in the end, much easier. This piece was actually quite slow to make, so the stitching process appears faster than it actually was. Stitching free motion satin stitch requires a degree of care so that the stitches stay close together. I gradually worked over the whole piece of coral using the light thread, meandering the lines around to make it look like brain coral with its very organic and irregular markings. The really interesting markings on brain coral create a lovely design. When you think about it, a design like this could be applied in so many different ways to different types of stitched art. Then I began on the task of filling in all the spaces between the meandering lines using a darker colour. I've chosen a sort of blood red colour for this. Stitching between these lines was quite fiddly and took me quite a long time. As this piece is really just a sample, I kept the finishing off simple with some sketchy stitching to suggest weeds growing around the coral. The finished piece makes a nice addition to the sea star and sea urchin. Perhaps I'll gradually build up a whole collection of similar pieces. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your company again next week. Please visit my website at debraworsu.com for more tips, tutorials and videos.